Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to unbox or unenvelope uh, a large Chinese folding knife. Now I'm going to um, to be brief with my with my introduction to this, but um, you can still skip forward here um, to the to the actual unboxing. So I'll tell you this: I don't really have many Chinese folding knives. I take it serious that you can vote with your wallet, right? That you uh, can make decisions uh, who you want to support with your money. And, uh, you know, the Chinese government is probably not someone you really want to support all the time. I'm, I'm weary about how they use their power and how their influence grows and grows and all these things. Um, this said, we all do adhere to um, the, the rules of capitalism. And those rules are fairly simple. If someone manages to uh, make a great product that many people want and that uh, can be sold at a reasonable price, well then he has every right to be successful with this. Uh, and I can't say that those Chinese knife makers are not doing a great job at what they do. So we must see the facts like this too. I have currently only one Chinese folding knife. This is this one. This is the... Uh, Senremu 681. It's very small. It's a little backlog, backlog knife. There's nothing particularly interesting about it, but also there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm completely happy with what it is and what it does. Um, and it has been perfect, has been perfect always um, since it came out of the box. So that's one good knife I have. I used to have a Senremu T08. That was a premium offering at the time, so for Chinese standards it was pretty expensive at the time. That was also perfect, right out of the box, great knife. Um, and then I used to have a um, knife by Harns, that was a knocked off Kersha design, that was the, the Nyx NYX. Um, that needed some tweaking, some oil, some Loctite, some this and that, but still after that it was a pretty good knife, really solid, solid build. So, out of all the Chinese knives I had, they were all really good. So that's three for three Chinese production, right? So we must see uh, facts like this too um, when, when choosing something new. And this knife in here, it's uh, made by Enlan, uh, really intrigued me for, um, for the price and for what you get for it, hopefully. Um, so this is this. So I have a new Chinese folding knife, even though I don't buy a whole lot of uh, Chinese products. Okay, this package comes from FastTech again. I've ordered from FastTech before and I've always been very happy. It says here on the side, right? FastTech. Um, so again, credit where it's due. They have always uh, been really good uh, with my orders. So here we go. All right? Wow, is there something in it? So let's see, here is a tiny sharpening stone that I also ordered, it only was a dollar. So um, hmm, don't know if that's going to be good, but uh, you know, it's only a dollar, so that's fine. Here's uh, some unrelated silicone grease. Now we get to the actual knife. Some paper, right, like always. And here is the knife, mm-hmm, it has the... Um, the B um, brand on it. What does it say here? Mm, nothing in particular. The model is the EL06PF. Hmm. I'm not sure what uh, the PF stands for. This should have a brown camouflage uh, G10 handles. I think that's a basic, maybe black G10, and then it's like painted or. Um, like foil wrapped, something like that. You know, I'm I'm really not sure. So I'm intrigued by uh, what will be in here, how the how the handle finish is applied. I'm also intrigued by some other uh, variants. So there are two two blades for this I saw online. One has uh, the B logo on it. The other one has Enlan on it. I'm also um, interested in the pivot screw. There is an old design for it that everyone hated. And there is a new design that uh, people hate a little bit less. Let's see which one we are getting here. So, um, as you see, standard 
cardboard box. I've seen this before. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Plastic uh, wrapping. And so here you have the so called brown camouflage handle. Hmm. On first sight, feels pretty good, feels pretty solid. Uh, right now I can't see any nicks, any faults on the handle material. Mm. I really like the, this knife because it has uh, the liners inlaid. You know, you get a lot of Chinese knives that have these really sick steel liners uh, and they are clearly visible. And uh, I don't know, I think that's just so over the top. It doesn't really have to be like this. Here, the liners are covered by the, by the G10 and I think that's quite cool. So, again, here I cannot see any, uh, any faults on the, on the handle material looks pretty solid right so here we have I believe this is the old pivot uh, screw mm-hmm so you need uh, you need to build uh, some tool to to adjust this you can uh, use um, uh, a drill to electric power drill uh, and then that would uh, would screw onto here too you know if you if you have a drill like that you know what I mean but uh, you can also just easily build a, a, a pivot adjustment tool. So, so one more time. The handle material mm, looks looks solid. The clip mm, sits flush. Yeah, good. Then that's an uh, open construction knife. Right. Then you see here um, some stud, one sided only. You also see that this is a probably a liner lock. And then we see that the blade centering, uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's quite in the middle, you know, maybe not 100%, but uh, it's pretty good. A little bit to the left, but uh, really not hardly too bad. Let's go, let's see how this opens. Uh, not too yeah, smooth enough. Smooth enough for now. So it doesn't feel uh, sandy or scratchy. Mm, and this is a black coated blade. The steel here is uh, not the standard 8CR. This is 9CR 13MOV. Um, if this is better in any way, well, I, ho I would hope so. But um, the, the standard 8CR 13MOV isn't really a bad steel or anything. Uh, I, I have this on this uh, tiny knife, right? This uh, does a perfect job, really. So let's see. Hmm, here's a little bit of stain here. Hmm. There's a white spot on the coating. I wonder if that will rub off later. Maybe. Otherwise, the coating uh, looks fine. Not super solid, like uh, like on an, on a sog or so. But still, the the coating looks okay. And uh, I must say, the the action is quite smooth already. Now the liner. Mm hmm. Mm, you know, nothing to write home about, but it sits. Uh, it, it sits okay. Could be a little bit more to the left, but um, basically, yeah, it's it's fine. Basically, it's fine. Click. Ah, and that is the uh, Nlan zero uh, six PF, as it says. So now we see, right? This is the uh, this has the um, the Nlan branding, not the B branding. Well, I would have been fine with either. Um, must say, this seems a pretty solid offering, pretty solid knife for the price that I paid for it, like 1850 US dollars. Not not a bad knife. You can do much worse. Mm. You can do much worse for much more money. Yeah. Flips open, you know, still need a little bit of oil, of course, you know, still needs to break in a bit. But, um, yeah, pretty solid offering. I'm uh, quite happy with it, I must say. So much happiness for, um, you know, such a small price. The Enlan um, EL06 in uh, the brown camouflage handle with a stonewashed, fi stonewashed finish and also a 9CR13 MOV steel which may or may not be different from uh, the standard, which isn't bad by itself. Hey, I totally forgot, we didn't uh, test the sharpness. We probably should do that. So, here's paper, right? 
Uh, yeah, it's all right. Could be a bit better. Basically, uh, not too bad. Will still become a bit sharper, of course. But um, yeah, it's okay for now. For um, you know, for a production knife, not too bad. Okay, so this was uh, something I still had to uh, to show you. Now, goodbye.